Welcome to Fears of Fathom Part 4, Iron Bark Lookout. I didn't upload the other three because I didn't. If you don't know, Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You were playing episode 4, 5th is coming soon, episode playtime 2 hours. Won't be 2 hours for you, but it'll be 2 hours for me. If not longer, because I'll probably die. Fears to Fathom, episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTube play Fears to Fathom Carson House. But I'm about to recount when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nights, clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far is being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Damn, whole RV. Wait, space to get out. Oh, this is cool. You could like, he's got a beer. I'm surprised this beer is still standing because if we've been on the road for this long, this beer would have tipped. I don't get to play on my PC much because it doesn't handle gaming all that well, but this is the bed. This is where all the magic happens. Not even a TV. Dude, this is boring. Oh, it's got like a cotton candy sky. Cotton candy sky is when it's like pink and bluish. Well, we're gonna slow down first. Messages Mitch Scott, Mitch Scott, Kayla, and Nelson. So, where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate, just show him your ID. This guy texts like a dad. Back, how's it looking? Still on my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? So it's, I assume they're just co-workers or friends? Probably just both that are like keeping up with them. This is nice. Oh, we're doing way over 25. We got places to be. I'm not trying to drive 25 in this. Go for a take it a bit slower. That's really nice looking. Dude, this is comforting. I like this feeling. Holy shit, Kayla, relax. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. What a nice person. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Fuck! Oh no! We could reverse parallel into a parking spot. That would be the most convenient, I think, if it's an RV. And not into the wall, and not into the wall, and not into the wall. Jesus. God damn it. Don't go into the fucking wall. <laughs> We're gonna die, dude. The insurance company is gonna love us. Okay, I think we did a good job, like at least parking this time. You know what? We could have done worse. What's the damage looking like? Damage to your RV is a myth. Drive into everything you want. It won't get broken. Do Before like the horror and heinous activities kick in, can we just acknowledge the view? Get it to the diner. Please. Why do you look at me like that, dude? Where's your eyes? He's stoned out of his mind. Ah! Shit! Female! Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. Oh, dude, I'm scared of women. You look a little lost, just tired. This place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for vanilla latte. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at a diverse state. That's none of your business. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at- <laughs> The other guy across from us, who's like, who I just turned down telling him where I was going, I'm gonna tell the guy like right beside him where I'm going, just to like, be that much of a shitter. Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day, 
What? Get out of the washroom. I'm trying to be in here. Oh my god! Dude, why do you piss at like 4 FPS? Are you okay? Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Just pee. I will have a tantrum. Where's my food? Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready for your order? Oh, dude, she's asking me a question. Yeah? Can I get a meatball sub with chicken nuggets, dude? Very well, would you like anything to drink? Uh, strawberry slush. Perfect. Anything else? Will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as possible. As soon as it's done, just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I don't think games realize how stressful this makes me. Like, I'm actually terrified of women. I think she likes me, though. Like, I did completely botch the conversation. Is there going to be, like, an armed assailant walking in? Is that where this, is that where this game starts to pick up? Look at him, he's even getting his shoulders into it. Damn, that's some good food. Also, I like how the person we've been texting told us to get a burger and fries, and I completely forgot about it, and I said I got the meatball sub and chicken nuggets, dude. Oh my god. What do you chew like that? My fucking... Kayla! Hi, Kayla. So did you end up going... How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Dude, I'm slush- dude, I'm drinking this slush, dude. I'm chugging it back. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine. Ah! Dude, yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Gosh, you just jump-scared me like that. Wow, yes! I'm on my way home. I'll see you in a bit. Dude, people text so weird. You guys ever see those people that text, like, exactly how they talk, and it's kind of weird? Like, of course, like, if they're not corny about it, it works, because it's it makes the text seem more real. Here's the check. Your total is $7.06? What the fuck? Oh, this was a while ago, yeah. Damn, $7.06? Man, I'm in Canada. For $7.06, you can get a slap in the face. We left the door open this entire time. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, hold on. I got this. I'm actually the world's best driver ever. Nobody knows it. I'm the world's best driver with no license. What? Come on, we can make the turn. Yes! What is going on? Oh, Jesus, fuck! Hi! Fuck! Holy moly, you scared? Yeah, dude! I thought you were one of them. One of who? May Lord of Mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? On the new transport fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Wow. Dude, I was so confused. How did I not see that coming? I'm like a horror expert. I always see it coming. Staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. So there's definitely like some cult or something out here. Oh, gee, dude! What the fuck? I was itching my armpit. And you just phased through the wall and floor? Relax. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Take flashlight. Can you leave me alone? Can you stop phasing through my, like, vehicle? You are extremely unsettling. Do we not just throw it on our back? Come on, buddy. This is really nice, actually. Until it's not, and we start, we ha we'll have to like run for our life. But other than that, this is really nice. Iron Bark Tower, Lacey Trail. So we go over here. There it is. It's like that, uh, that one game. I might do a playthrough on it, or like a little video on it, where you have to basically guide a man through the forest, but you also have to differentiate when it's like a Wendigo or a, I, I don't know if it's a Wendigo or a Skinwalk, but you basically have to like sit in this tower and look out there and basically command this guy. You gotta tell which one is, like which one you're talking to, because you could like set yourself up and die. If you guys want to see a playthrough for like one video on that, let me know. I'm in the Matrix. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. This is like the most AI could ever do that would like that I would actually like. I'm very uh, anti AI. Surprise, you found me. How can I assist you today? Holy shit. Clickety click, here's a random fact for you Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, continues to grow about a quarter of an inch centimeters taller than year due to tectonic plate movements. What's plague.exe? Oh, what? Boom, boom. Oh, we're sweating. 
They don't know, they don't know about the narrow doorway technique. I'm actually trash at this game. Service reporting. Welcome to the state of the art service reporting software to develop the yard book. Oh shit. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light. That's the sister uh tower. Wait, you were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area. I did you see a light from another tower anyway, earlier, I just didn't notice I didn't point it out. I'm looking for a change. I'm a transfer from R. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm, shiver. Got it, thanks. I like the pacing of this so far. Like, it's very, very good. I'm enjoying it a lot. This is oddly peaceful. I've always kind of wanted a job like this. We just spilt it everywhere. We're burning this shit down. We're gonna think smart here and move this over there. Holy shit. Imagine being the one to leave a gas canister, or like a thing of gasoline next to the... <sighs> Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get to it. You better get to it then. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. True. Nice. Do you copy, new guy? Tower 11, copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Sounds good, man. I got it from here. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new have guy. A good Tower 12, signing off. Have a good night, new guy. Don't want the bed to bite. Ah, I'll bite back. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow, buddy. Now we sit back, relax. You know, really just take in the night for what it's worth. This job is easy. Oh, dude, I gotta buy lunch for whoever made this soundtrack. Mmm! It's so good! Let's go to sleep. 3.26 a.m. Gang! We're getting ripped out of the void, dude. You see our vision? We are like, pfft, snap back to reality. We gotta pee. We're just gonna piss over the edge. God damn. Oh, dude. It's like, all video games do is just appeal to the male fantasy, but they don't even know it's just pissing over the foot like a forest. Go to sleep. Oh my god, man. It just gets better and better. We can hear the... Ambient music in the background. Oh my god. Tower 12. How you doing, buddy? It's Bluetooth coffee <laughs> This is the best Bluetooth coffee I've ever had. Yeah, thank you for taking a photo We gotta we gotta get tower 12 in the frame like a good solid thing of tower 12 in the frame. I Just want a good picture of tower 12 Space to get off what you mean? If you're gonna scare me like that, no. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Yes! Oh my god. Tower 11, do you copy? It's just so beautiful! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's... Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Whoa, let me have a look. Yep. Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the Lacey Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe. Thanks, doctor. Captain. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Gotcha, Chief. Over and out. I won't. Okay, I'm not gonna turn it off because I want the warming embrace of this music when I get back. It was right here the entire time. We're just stupid. Let's go for a nice nature stroll, guys. Hopefully, we don't run into any eldritch beings, any Lovecraftian horror hiding out here. No camping. Violators will be sighted and moved. She gives. I love Jen. She gives. Wow. Oh! We got campers. Jesus fuck. Okay, holy. Sorry, just got home. Pizza, pasta, pizza, pasta, big, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepper. Oh, this is that, like, many people try and make Italian food. You will not believe how easy this one is to throw together. Did you reach yet? Yeah, this is the shit you see, like, college students make on TikTok. Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? I hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sexter is... Sector is very good service. Take these pics in nature to explain my abstinence. Yeah, fill us up with water, and then we'll pour it on the fire. Although, you're 
putting out their fire and it's nighttime. That's a bit messed up. I get there's rules and this person is violating, but that's still a bit messed up. I feel like if he's gonna like pop up and get aggressive, he kind of has like the person has a reason to now. Like it's nighttime and you're putting out their fire. I get it's not allowed, but they still. Damn. 9:07 p.m. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Homie got trampled by a bear. It happens. Alright, like the other week I got trampled by a guy who was hairy as a bear. Hey, Tower 12, how you doing, buddy? What a legend. Why are all my windows up? Whoa. Maybe that was just like an auto thing that happens like in the morning, but no. That doesn't need to happen. Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Yeah, darn it. They never learn, do nope. they? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Oh? Anything else you notice in those woods? Uh, yeah, there was a scream. scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No, like it was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Wait, kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Oh. It's crazy, I know. Yeah, kind of. rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes... Manifestation. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Yeah, well, I'm glad to be of service. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Satisfy our hunger. Five. I'm so jelly of the view. By the way, look what I got home to. Isn't that just the casserole bait? Isn't that just the lasagna from the first game? Oh my god, it's like a multiverse. Looking at that food makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella, cheese, diced tomatoes. Okay. Mozzarella. Bang. Fuck it. Have at it. Baked beans. Have some beans. Cut to where I have where I'm putting the motherfucking in the oven so I didn't notice my camera died that was really stupid of me anyways this next little bit just for this next like chunk of the video there's gonna be no webcam so just bear with me but if you've made it this far thank you I appreciate it bye 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 hey we'll put that there gang Connor Hey, good job. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. Speaking of duty, That's the duty I chose. I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? Yeah, I was vigilant. just getting to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Yeah, you got it. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. What a legend. Oh, we're just gonna sit on the edge of our bed? Wait, dude, your hands! We set the oven to 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Dude, he just ripped this out of the oven with his bare hands. Are you dead inside? No feeling. Why do we keep putting the gas canister next to the fucking thing? It's gonna blow up the place. Oh, you're so dumb. All right, time to sleep. 2.27 a.m. Oh, why are we looking right up at the ceiling? Fuck it, we ain't no pussy. Ah, what is that? Oh. I'm gonna get up. Doesn't mean I want to. What are you? What do I do? What the fuck? Did you want some of my casserole? It's too much for me, man. Like, you can have some. I gotta shut the fridge door first before you come in. What? 
This is a friendly reminder to straighten your back while you're watching this and put chapstick on because if you're in Canada like me, it's cold as shit right now. Okay. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. You there? There's something outside my door at the E. I don't think these are kids messing around. Dude, this is serious. Like, you don't understand, do you? Bitch trying to gaslight me. Thanks. Stupid and dumb, stupid and dumb. Okay, night three. We're playing FNAF. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. Gaslighting. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There was something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Ah, uh, we would have to be extra vig like vigilant at this point. Oh, what? I can clean the- Whoa! Why? And who? And where? Okay, we do. We can help him. We can help him. We can help him. Hello? Can anyone hear Be me? Be cautious. I oh. heard you. I hear you loud Thank and clear. Thank goodness. I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Take okay, a deep okay. breath. Okay. I. What's I the don't situation? Even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time, and, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. I, What's your current location? I'm in the middle of the woods on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking towards west right now because right I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. I'm at a trail see intersection what? now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Fuck I'm it. Go right. I knew it! I thought I looked familiar! I couldn't have trusted yeah, myself dude. with this decision. Go with your instinct. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. I'm right here! Oh. I hear you! What do you mean? I hear your whistles. That's what? not what? me. I see you behind the trees to my right. You're That's not me. me Where's your fucking spray? You? What are you do? Holy mo- Dude, what are you doing here? I asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like if I'm gonna pass out- I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding this for one more second to take supplies. Thanks, homie. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you- How do you know I was there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here, man. You don't gotta worry. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been on a bit on- You've been a bit on, on the edge. Everything alright? Just getting used to the, uh... Mention the skull. Oh, lord of mercy. Do you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. It's getting late. I better keep i better get going now just keep watch thanks for the supplies fuck away they've introduced the hiding mechanic which makes it sound ominous how is that gonna spin that's not that doesn't that's not gonna spin dude it's just gonna hit the wall and keep hitting the wall gonna put it back in the oven just be patient in all my 21 years of life i know how to i know when it's too much for a microwave it didn't even spin dude like it just sat there like jittering against the wall sounds like some earl sweatshirt shit this beat sounds like it would be on like an Earl Sweatshirt interlude. Or like, when he had his album, I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside, he would have these like instrumentals at the end that were separate from the song. Like they were still part of the song, but like they would be these 
little like beat switches that would play out during the end. It would just be production based near the end. And this kind of sounds like... It sounds like something he would kind of use on SRS. This sounds like, uh... I, I, I get like an, some rap songs vibe from that. I don't know how to explain it. Don't call me stupid. So, how the fuck does he know we, we went there? Unless he's the guy. Unless he's the guy who placed the thing. Right? Fuck you! You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Fuck you. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed, I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over here. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on- we, we rely information. We rely- we relay information about fire sightings. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plan. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing away for the land. A way for the land to purify itself. You are in. You were out of your mind, buckaroo. I should head back to the tower now. Good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. So he's involved. He's involved with the shit that happened up there with the fucking cult-looking dude. Yeah, he's involved with it. He's just gonna walk and mysteriously walk off into the night. Look, at least Tower 12 is still up. Talk to him, it'll feel a bit comforting. You gotta put all these down again. Just probably go to sleep. I'd rather get a good night's sleep and not have to, like, get comfortable in bed and then realize, ah, damn, I forgot something. Just get it all done at once, you know? I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. Find yeah, right here. We went down to get... Ran into Silas downstairs. Or no, went down to, to... What? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. Just about yesterday. You trying to yank my chain What do you now? mean? That radio tower has what been out of service mean? for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair costs were deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then, who did I just what talk to? He knew my name. I don't know. Disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Anyway, I got this. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Hey, good night, Connor. All right, we have gone to slump. We are harvesting Z's and counting sheep's. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off and I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I had seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. I think what's making this even more scary for like the actual person that went through this is just how inconsistent you got, you got a minute? everything is happening. Like it happened a couple nights in a row, then it stopped. Like the stuff was going on like two nights in a row, then it stopped. And two days later, something's probably happening again. I think it's the inconsistency it's the inconsistency of this stuff happening that's starting to get to him. New guy, you got a minute? Well, I'm right listening. Here. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. So Windows 99. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers. Oh, like dude, that. we're gonna download Linux. Let me call up Mudahar. We're gonna download fucking Linux. No more snoopers, I guess. How do well, I update the computer? To be honest with you, all this new technology not really my thing. Dare I say it? These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyway. For now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Hey, uh, thanks for letting me know. Yep. Ah, oh, we're greed! <laughs> my boy. My boy. There's my goddamn flashlight. It's alright, be a man. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is a really cool view. I'm not even gonna lie. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance which meant I had to cover his area for the past two Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Four another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna wanna see this one, Jack. Uh, I need you to wake up. You copy? Yeah, buddy, what's 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 going on, Connor? You copy? 
Right here, Connor. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here bunched what happened? my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing, seeing more smoke to my west. We got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. The campsite from your end. Let me have a look. Gamers, you ready for a play that's literally, literally crazy? Oh, shit. Sprint. Go in. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, let's just run. Let's just go, right? Let's just run and never look back. That sounds good. I like the thought of that. Running and never looking back sounds like a fucking A1 idea there, buddy old pal. <sighs> okay, we made it back here. This is good, this is good, this is good. It was locked. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe the cop sees him. If we're lucky, the cop will probably just see him. Oh, unless the cops in our RV. Oh, I didn't read it! I was trying to mash the go button, I didn't read it. I'm so sorry. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. To stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. I feel that. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for a Legal activities, so if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. I think that's it. Survive, yeah, survive through the fourth episode. Well, shout out to those music, shout out to the devs, employee training VA. Oh, checks empty guy got put in this game. Nice. Yeah, I just want to say that this was the first video I recorded on my PC, and the first actual like full gameplay video that I record. Like, like I record the gameplay on my PC. Normally, I only stick to recording on my PlayStation because my PC can't handle it. But everything seems to have gone perfect. And if you made it this far, I really appreciate this like it means a lot um go join their discord community a special thanks to all of them especially go pay attention to rail studios it's they've made four episodes of this and each one is perfect i would have recorded the others but just didn't get around to it um so yeah go check out the other three parts they are home alone norwood hitchhike carson house and ironburg lookout each one just as terrifying as the next and each one kind of gets better as they go on but now that my adhd has made me spiral out of three topics um yeah thank you for watching um if you like these kinds of videos where i just record like an entire game at once and chop it down just the whole cut com thing let me know and i will keep doing that but other than that interact with the other than that yeah like comment subscribe and i hope you have a good day running around in these circles you'll trip and fall and it hurts yourself and i'm thinking i might assert myself the worth of the passion the work that i'm patching through and nobody really asking you and i'm rolling through dirt i'm a pussy the mud